Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing an unboxing, an overview of the newly released uh, Meg AI 1300P. This is MSI's flagship PCIe 5 PSU. So this is the one that actually includes that cable. I know there's been a lot of videos uh, in the YouTube tech space regarding the PCI 5, so the 12 volt high power cable that ships with the 4090 and now the 4080 and similar dongles like this were not exactly PCI Gen 5 um, but they did they did have a similar pin layout and the connector is very similar um, these are the ones that shipped with the 3080 and the 3080 Ti and there was a three pin one or a three three breakout like on the 4080 which ships with the 3090 Ti which I have been using with my 3090 Ti um, in the main rig. If I'm not using the AMD card, I'm using that one. So currently I do have that installed and I am using that three-way breakout adapter that came with the card. So I decided to just go ahead and get one of these to kind of overview what it's like if you were to upgrade to a a newer ATX 3.0 power supply. So if you are in the market looking for uh, a power supply that comes with a native plug, you want to look for a power supply that says ATX 3.0. Sometimes they'll say PCI 5, um, but the, what you really want to look for is fully supported ATX 3.0. So MSI, I mean, Gigabyte was the very first one to the market uh, with a power supply earlier this year, um, a few months ago. But MSI, I think, has the better offering because the Gigabyte one, the manufacturer is not as good as, or the OEM, or the ODM is not as good as the one that MSI is using. So for those that want to know, like, what actually matters, with the power supply, not only does the wattage matter and the 80 plus, so this is an 80 plus platinum unit, um, but you want to also know like who actually made the power supply because MSI didn't make the power supply. So the maker of this unit is CWT, so Channel Well Technology. So they're very good. I know they do the uh, MPG line as well, but this is the Meg one, so this is kind of the flagship series. Uh, this is the one that will feature 1300 watts, so the 1300 is the 1300 watt number, so it even tells you right there, um, 1300 watt power supply. Uh, so I decided to do this just because I wanted the cable, because I don't like using the adapter cable that I'm using with the 3090 Ti. So let's go ahead and do an unboxing real quick. So let's get into this. So you open it up, and right off the bat you get the power supply is going to be under this foam padding. So here's the PSU itself. So it's got this uh, premium look. It's kind of small. Um, I don't like when the power supplies are relatively compact. I like them to be longer. So my Corsair, the current power supply that I have been using for a number of years now is the HX1200, as you can see the box in the back there. So I've been using that one. So that's currently what's driving the there's two of them. So I've got one there, the other box is over there. So one of them is with the 13th gen, the other one is with the AMD 7950X. So 7950X is paired up with the 3080 Ti, and then the 13th gen is paired up with the AMD Radeon RX 6950XT. So with the 1200 watts, you know, I can upgrade to whatever I want. I don't really have to bother with it. So that's why uh, I prefer the more is better strategy when it comes to power supplies as long as it's, that's 80 plus platinum. So we're kind of side grading, sort of. This is kind of a side grade because we're going from 1200 watt, 80 plus platinum to 1300 watt, 80 plus platinum. The main selling point or the main reason to upgrade is actually for this. So the 12 volt high power connector. You can see there's the four sense pins. This is the 12 plus four, so the 16 pin total on that. I mean, you have three additional, um, power cable plugs for PCI and three more over here. So I was originally looking at getting the MPG from Micro Centers, or the MPG 1000 watt, but when I went in there today, they told me that these had just come in the store. They weren't on the website yet, so I decided to get one of these, because this was actually what I was looking for a few months ago, it just wasn't out in the market yet. So it's finally here. You can see it, it looks like it's got one of those sickle or scythe type fans. Um, but yeah, this is a really good unit. It doesn't have, I think you can't, you can't force the fan to run all the time, which is unfortunate. I like having the toggle button 
So this is just like the Corsair 1200, which that doesn't that has the semi-passive uh, mode, and then you have your other looks like you have SATA and Molex, and then there is that uh, USB connection there. So this is going to be going in a fractal torrent, so it will be mounted at the top. So that's why I would have preferred to have a button to turn the fan on. Unless there's a way to do that in software. Maybe there's a way to do that in software. Uh, so that's the unit itself. So it's got a good amount of weight to it, but it is not very long. I would prefer the power supply to be longer, like the HX1200. I can already tell this is smaller than my 1200 watt. The nice thing about it being longer is, even though it's hard to fit in the case, it's longer so the heat can get spread out more and dissipate across the board better than having it all compact like this. I don't really like the one that's really small. So, all right, so now we get power plugs or the cables. So you get your uh, standard, this is, a, this is a thicker cable than the ones that come with like the 550 watt PSUs. This is, this is a good one. So you can tell this is heavy duty just from the size of the plug and how thick the gauge is on here. So definitely uh, the first rule is when you get a power supply, always use the cable that comes with the power supply. Do not use um, any other, just because it, you have another cable that looks like it, it'll work doesn't mean it's the right gauge. For example, if you have a monitor cable, a lot of monitors come with a cable that has the same plug to the monitor, but the gauge is actually different. There's not, a, there's more resistance. It'll be a thinner, uh, thinner a diameter on the, on the wire, and you do not want to use the monitor plug with uh, power supplies. I can't, I forget how many times I've seen, like people I know that have their own computer put together, I come over and I see what they've got running, and I see they've got a monitor plug to their 1,000 watt power supply. It's just a big face palm. Anyway, so um, so all right, we got this big bag of cables. So is there like a nice? Doesn't look like an easy to open. This. Okay, so in terms of uh, cables, you get quite a number of them. Uh, it is a 1300 watt power supply, so I would expect it to have a good assortment. So right off the bat, we'll just kind of cover the first one over here. So you have your 24 pin standard uh, ATX plug to the motherboard. And then you have two of the 12 volt EPS plug for the CPU. So that's, you know, if you're doing like uh, 8 plus 8 on some super high end motherboards. Uh, like, for instance, the X670E from AMD or the 13th Gen 7, Z790 or Z690 even. So two of those. And then you get a whole bunch of PCIe. So it looks like three, four, five, six. You get six, six PCIe uh plugs which means you can literally fill up the entire unit because you have three here and this looks like this is one rail then you have another group over here for another rail so that's six total plus this one so that's a lot so that's really good i mean this is a 1300 watt unit so i'm pretty impressed with the number of pci because like for instance uh if you're running you know your typical dual eight pin high-end gpu like maybe a 6950 xt for instance or an upcoming AMD 7000 series GPU. That's, they've got you covered there. Um, there may be an AIB card that adds a third 8-pin, so they got you covered there. And you could still do three more. So if you have like a Thunderbolt add-in card, for instance, and you wanted the optional power plugs, you know, you got that, and then you still have an extra one here. So maybe the motherboard itself has like a supplemental PCIe uh, power plug on the board. So that's, that's not uncommon to see, but it, it is a thing. Um, so six of those, that's really nice to see. And to top it off, you also get, of course, the uh, 600 watt. So this is the 12 volt high power connector. This is the infamous connector that there's a lot of tech media talking about this plug. Well, not, not specifically the actual cable like this, but more so the NVIDIA, um, the breakout cables and stuff like the ones for the 4090 which have the four four-way breakout and then you have like this this one is from a 3080 ti um, but the 3090 ti has a three-way breakout 
Um, and like the 4080 that recently launched has the exact same type of connector. Um, so I'm so glad to finally have a power supply that I can run this cable natively from the power supply straight into the GPU and not have all the mess of like having three of these or in the case of the 4090, four of these dangling from the, the, the little tiny connector trying to hold all of this, you know, that's, uh, that's not really good. So if anything, it's, it's better cable management. So yeah, so it's nice to have that. And then what's interesting is this power supply also includes a very interesting cable. So this one, it's another 600 watt. So it's another uh, 16 pin, just like that. But the difference is, whereas this one is 600 watt to 600 watt, this one is, so this is one that does not have the sense wires. You can see that it's, it's empty, whereas this one actually has the four wires populated. This one is not connected there. But it's using the exact same 16 pin connector, um, and it is to two, two eight pin. So two eight pins, so I believe this this end goes into the power supply and you could use that you could use the power supply 12 pin to do dual 8 pin breakout so you could plug this into like a a new AMD 7000 series card or you know any kind of legacy card like uh, any kind of 10 series 20 series 30 series well I don't know about 30 series but you get what I'm saying like you can use this with any standard GPU up to dual 8 pin um, so this is nice for cable management. I think that's the way it works. I don't think these go into the power supply. Yeah, I don't I don't think you plug this into the power supply. I think the fact that it's like this, these ends go into the GPU, and this end goes into the power supply. I'm pretty sure how that works. This is for like more, so, so if, if six PCIe eight pins weren't enough, they give you an additional two more eight pins off of this uh, connector so that's that's insane that's like eight eight pins on this power supply so really really nice um, and then for SATA you do get four four separate sets of SATA um, that can all of them can do up to four SATA connections SATA power connections so I think you're pretty much covered there uh, and then a single Molex adapter so this is for legacy Molex plugs uh, one of them is enough. I mean, with, with just the one, uh, you can do, it looks like four Molex, so I don't really think there's more than this that's needed. And then you have a USB 2.0 header to the motherboard, and then this goes into the power supply. So I'm guessing this can allow you to, to check like power draw in the software, in MSI software. Um, and then there's also a, another one. So this one could plug into like a laptop, uh, if you wanted to monitor the PSU from like a, an external type of PC, I don't really think people would run this into their uh, for, like back panel. It doesn't make sense. They would want to use this. Well, unless unless you don't have this available, then you'd have to route this like out of the case and in, into one of the USB ports. So it's nice that they give you the options though. So it's nice that they have both included. You also get the screws for the power supply to the case. Um, and they also included what looks like, uh, this is this is probably for individual sleeving for, for cable management. So they give you a bunch of these. So I've never actually, I've never actually used these before. I've never done anything with like cable mod or any of that stuff. Um, so I always just use whatever comes with the unit itself. But it's nice to, to have these extras. So it does make it feel like a premium power supply. So. That's going to be it for this video. Um, yeah, hope you guys found uh, this unboxing useful. And I will see you guys in the next one. Thanks.